It's now time for Backyard Getaways. This week, reporter Eric Nelson and photographer Dustin Scholl take us out to the ballpark to see some unique independent league baseball. This week in Backyard Getaways, CCX comes to CHS. That's right, we're in Lower Town St. Paul, the home of the Saints, where a local athlete is thriving. It's that guy right there. That's Max Murphy right there. <laughs> Max Murphy is back in the Twin Cities. <laughs> the ex-Robbinsdale Cooper star is part of the first place St. Paul Saints. It's a beautiful park, beautiful field, and the games are fun. We have a great team. And now, starting lineup for you. In St. Paul, Murphy's Law is a good thing. Saints manager George Samus is a huge Murphy fan. He says Murphy could be playing at the double-A level. He's a really, really good all-around player. Plays good defense, has a good arm, got some big hits. Murphy, coming home, has plenty of perks. Parents come out all the time whenever they can, and the friends will call me or text me like, hey, can I'm coming out of this league, but all right, yeah, get your tickets. Saints play at scenic CHS Field. It's awesome. This place is one of the most unbelievable places I've ever played. St. Paul skyline as a backdrop. Unless you play in the big leagues, you're never going to play in a nicer place. CHS has a major league look with minor league charm. Here, pop, water, time candy time. Who's ready now? At CHS, the MO is simple. Fun is good. People obviously love coming because they're here a lot. One of the most popular Saints staples is their ball pig. I think it's cool. We just got this random pig in our dugout every game. You can go over and give cookies or fries or whatever. Other goofy things at CHS include a material mascot named Madonna. It's a lot of fun. Brooklyn Park's Jeff Gallup came to Lower Town recently to see the St. Saint Paul Saints and it costs less than three dollars to get there. We took the uh, Express from Noble in 610 and caught the green line down. The Saints usually draw between eight and 9,000 fans a game from Wrigley Field like Ivy to play areas to food. There is something for everyone. It's entertainment as opposed to baseball, I think. For Backyard Getaway, I'm Eric Nelson, CCX News. A new addition at CHS Field this season is the City of Baseball Museum. Part of your admission, it's open every game, and it may take a couple times through just to see everything there is to see. The City of Baseball Museum has plenty of historical nuggets relating to the sports history in the Twin Cities. Many famous players came through Minneapolis and St. Paul in their minor league heyday. One of them was George Hallis. Yes, the same George Hallis who helped start the National Football League. When he left college, he played for the pros for two years, then came for the Saints for two years, and in 1920, if I got my date right, he left to go to Chicago, founded the Chicago Bears, part of the National Football League, was player, coach, and owner of the team. The City of Baseball Museum opened last month. 